Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to develop DAX measures in Power BI to visualize the differences between multiple forecast versions all at once. In my previous video, I have shown the step-by-step -step process to build a Power BI dashboard that allows users to compare two different forecast versions, but not multiples of them all at the same time. Before you continue on with this video, make sure you check out my previous video with the link at the top right corner. Otherwise, you might find it difficult to follow the steps in this video. With that being clear, let us get started. First, let me set up the filters that I will be using for this page. For the selected version filter, I will be setting up as a single selection. Well, for the comparator version filter, I will be setting it up as a multiple selection filter. This will allow users to select one forecast version as a base and compare it against multiple forecast versions. Next, I will build a table with the metrics visual to show the sales revenue for the selected forecast version. Then, I will build another table with the metrics visual to display the sales revenue for the selected comparator versions. To display the sales revenue for the selected comparator versions by the users, let us build a measure for it. This measure will calculate the sales revenue based on the forecast version selected by the users in the filter. Let us see if it is working correctly by putting it into the table for verification. Use version as the column and the foot type as row. Since the subtotal column is irrelevant for our analysis, I will switch off the column subtotals options. Now, see what happens when I select different versions from the filter. The table will only show what have been selected, which is essentially what we are looking for. Next, I will create a measure to calculate the variance between the base forecast and the selected comparator forecast. This measure will show the differences between the forecast right at the side of the comparator sales revenue. I will also create another measure to calculate the percentage variance, which is quite straightforward. Just divide the variance by the comparator sales revenue, put it as a value field in your matrix visual, and voila, there you have it. A table showcasing the comparison between one forecast version against all the other forecast versions in Power BI. If I want to visualize all the forecast versions in a single visual like a bar chart or line chart for trend analysis, there's two steps you need to do. First, we need a measure to add both selected sales revenue and comparator sales revenue that we have just written earlier. Then, we need to create a master list with reference to the selected version list. With this master list, we will be able to use that as an axis when visualizing the data. Now that we have the master list and the measure ready, we can go ahead to build a bar chart for monthly or quarterly trend analysis. We can also build a waterfall chart showing which food type is contributing to the variances between the forecasts. There you have it. Those are the measures that I have been using to build a Power BI dashboard that helps me with my variance analysis between multiple forecast versions. If you have watched up until this point, thank you so much for your support. I sincerely apologize for not uploading consistently as I have just recently moved on to a new company. Hopefully, I will be able to upload much more consistently as I get up to speed with my new role. My name is Joel. Thumbs if you like it, sub if you love it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.